uh, in my local computer now. Now I will also mention about Kubernetes uh, because uh, it comes with Kubernetes configuration uh, and we can uh, deploy easily to Kubernetes, especially in local Kubernetes. It's uh, pre-configured for us. Now I want to stop the application. Uh, stopping containers takes a little time, but stopping uh, .NET applications is much faster. By the time uh, I can start uh, building the Docker images, uh, you see here, we can see in the Kubernetes top, there are two tops, Helm and Kubernetes. Helm, you know, is a system, a tool to ma make it easy for configuring, for managing all your Kubernetes configuration. So uh, it's every, uh, it has charts. Every chart is responsible to configure one thing in your solution. Here uh, we have pre-configured all these charts for all the services, even for custom services and so on. So uh, when you right uh, click here, you see uh, three commands. Build Docker image is, you know, uh, for deploying to uh, Docker, comp uh, Docker uh, engine in Kubernetes, uh, which is default uh, in the solution. Uh, we need to build Docker images. It takes a little time uh, because it really uh, builds, like, you know, it uh, builds in release mode, publishes somewhere, and creates the Docker image from here. Uh, so first time, it gets, a it gets a little time. By the time I check, yeah. Uh, here, solution under has stopped. Um, I can show you that uh, we can, see all the pods in this cloud CRM local namespace, which is the namespace uh, of the solution. It comes from the solution name plus this profile name here. You see there is no resources found in cloud CRM local namespace now <clears throat> because we haven't deployed anything. Uh, we can also see that uh, on Docker desktop that we haven't deployed any services yet. Uh, after completing all the, all the images, I will install with a Helm install. Uh, 